What's up, everybody? Hope you had a very happy Thanksgiving. And I had a pretty shitty 10 days, not going to lie. In today's digital age, there is only one thing that will really, really equate to pissing in somebody's Cheerios. And that's either losing the data on their phone or losing the data on their computer. And if you notice, I've got $6,000 worth of laptops in front of me because I lost the data on my computer. And that sucks. And the worst part about it is it was preventable and it's Apple's fault. And I'm blaming Apple for it. And I bought this new MacBook Pro with the touch bar. It's been glitchy. It's been the, the high Sierra thing. So they keep putting out updates. And I keep going through and updating it, thinking that like that will fix it. Oh, they must have got all these problems solved. I would have been better off keeping my old laptop and putting a new battery in it than getting this new one. Now, I upgraded to the High Sierra, upgraded again, changed the password on my iTunes for some reason. I then called them up. They fixed that. And then the next thing, you know, it's like, oh, you know what? I also have a user account on this computer that I can't seem to delete. I had Rob Ferretti and Super Speeders, but I only use Super Speeders. So if I had to ever restart the computer or anything like that, I had to go log out of both users. It was really annoying. So why did I have that? When I bought my new laptop, I was still finishing projects on the old laptop. So I started my new laptop, didn't really save anything. And then I got Migration Assistant, plugged in my, my backup, and loaded it all up onto my computer. Boom. Now I had this vestigial Rob Ferretti account that I didn't need that I couldn't make go away. Call, I'm on the phone with Apple. I'm like, oh, by the way, since I got that password thing sorted out, can you help me make this user account go away? It's not like it's doing anything, but it just, like, I don't like having to go through multiple steps to restart my computer. That's where it all went wrong, guys. That was, uh, that was a big mistake. And they're like, oh, yeah, you just got to, uh, okay, it's not working. Not, uh, it doesn't let you delete it. Go into safe mode and now do this. Now restart it. Now do this. Now delete the user. Now restart it and you're good. And I'm like, all right, well, it seems like when you're in safe mode and we're re re deleting users, should I back my computer up? Should I be concerned about any of this? Nope, this won't do anything bad. Don't worry about it. You're okay. I'm like, are you sure? Because like, like I need the stuff on my computer. And to be fair, the backup takes forever now. If I went to go plug the, um, the time machine in, and I've got a partial one from a couple of months ago, literally it takes 12 hours for that first backup on the new computer. And that sucks. I didn't have time for it. So I have a partial backup from three months ago, no other backups, but also I'm not, I didn't lose my computer. I didn't damage my computer. I, I get it. You should be backing stuff up, but they told me to delete this account in safe mode. Click this, click this, click this. All right, now restart it. I did that. And I got that. And I was like, hey, uh, I got a little no smoking symbol on my computer. Uh, oh yeah, no problem. We'll just we'll just go in and tweak around and blah 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 blah. So, long story short, this computer is a brick. And my last three months worth of taxes I was doing, and th there's stuff that that I do on my computer that I can't even recall. Like I. When people send me messages and it's something important or something I have to do, I'll take a screenshot of it and throw it in a folder because I can't go remember, I can't go through a thousand Facebook and, and Instagram messages to see the one that is worth uh, or, or requires a follow up and, and go back and find that. So that's all gone forever. I've got notes. I've got video ideas. I've got video content that was shot that then is not backed up because it was on my I was it was current stuff I was working on. I've got th essentially three months of work that's gone. And I called up Apple. I went through super support. Oh, do this, do this. And we can't even reset the password. It, it's something with, with their high Sierra updates that just completely did not jive with the migration assistant and changed passwords or, or whatever. Now, now, effectively, I am locked out of my own hard drive. There's something called target disk mode where I can use this as a hard drive and plug it in. Uh, and that's why I got another Mac because I, I had to work. I can't just delete this and start over again because it's months worth of taxes and stuff like I just can't. There's just so many hours of work there that I can't redo, but it looks like I'm not going to have a choice anymore. And uh, yeah, it's been a pretty shitty 10 days. 
and you know it's pretty crappy when Apple owns the problem. Like, yeah, they shouldn't have told you to do that without backing it up. And like, we'll look into that. Can we give you like a time machine accessory for a couple of hundred dollars? Like you see anything in the accessory store that you want, we'll give it to you. And I'm like, I don't want your accessories. I just want my data back. So like right now I'm praying with the Hail Mary and I know it's, uh, it's not going to happen that Apple will take this computer back and do some like magic because the hard drive it's not like the computer was dropped or anything like that this is all sort of some sort of software but if they could just get through their 64-bit encryption i don't care how they do it i don't care if it's unicorns i don't care what what happens uh, i just need to get that data back so that's thrown a wrench into my editing shooting operations with everything else i've had going on but that sucks man i mean i had stuff for my house i had all sorts of stuff on there that was just not meant to be like a 21 page zoning application that the master copy was on there um that i then had to go through and redo it just sucks so apple uh, apple has has gotten me good here um and yeah so it's a pretty shitty week but in related news i just got my truck and i gotta now name my truck and do the paint scheme on my truck we've got these cool posters over here that if you want them Check the link in the description because they're cool. Um, I've, I've only made a thousand of them, so when they're gone, they're gone. They're 12 bucks a piece. Uh, you can pay through PayPal if you want them, but just write me a message saying you feel bad about my computer because I hate myself right now. Like, I knew better. I was like, are you sure I shouldn't back it up? And uh, we didn't back it up. So that sucks. Uh, I'm thinking of names for my new truck, paint schemes for my new truck. Um, I don't know. Let me know. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of stuff in the works. Hurricane Evo about to blow the dust off of that one. Uh, we're going to be doing, uh, I've got a lot of stuff leading up to the Project Car Challenge in January, but I'm restructuring the channel going forward. So we're going to have more of a structure to it where it's like every Wednesday is going to be a certain video. Every Friday is going to be another video. So, uh, there will be sort of more of a, more of a method to the madness here on the channel. Uh, I thank you guys for watching. I thank you for your support. I will catch you next time. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving. I hope you're not spending too much money on Amazon today. But if you are, I don't know, click on the link in the description and use my uh, thing so I get the affiliate uh, commission. Catch you guys next time. Uh, thank you for listening to me rant about Apple. If you have Apple uh, and you're playing around with High Sierra, which is still buggy, this, even the newest version of High Sierra has the same bugs that I've been experiencing for, for quite some time now. Avoid going to High Sierra if you can. If you do go to High Sierra, just make sure you have a constant backup of your computer because when shit goes down, this is the worst feeling ever. And I don't know, I don't know how to cope with it. This is like, this is really shitty, but uh, it is what it is. Catch you next time. Uh, thank you for the pity.